Young audiences, Sir Carter Charter School says Tyler Williams was a huge part of their school community and will be greatly missed. Yeah, Tyler was shot and killed last night. Another young person in our community lost to gun violence. Eleanor Tabone is in the studio with us with the details. Such a sad story. That is correct, ladies. 19-year-old Tyler Williams from Bridge City was shot and killed in Inuncorporated West Wigo Monday night. His football coach told me he believes he had a big career in football ahead of him. His aspirations was to play in college and one day, you know, play in the NFL. Tyler Williams loved to dance. He also loved football. Tyler was very good. He, he played linebacker for us. Tyler was a huge tackler, made every play. Good blitzer. He listened, listened to detail. He understand what the offense was trying to do. Um, and he took football serious. Before graduating last year, Tyler was team captain for the young audience's charter school's football team. That's where coach Shelby Skipper met Tyler and coached him for two years. Coach Skipper says after Tyler graduated, they stayed in touch. Tyler was a big ball of life. He, he just wanted everybody to have a good time. Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office says the shooting happened at 7.30 Monday night. It happened in the 900 block of West Kruger Lane in unincorporated West Wigo. JPSO says Tyler was found with multiple gunshot wounds. A neighbour says one of the bullets came through his front door. Losing one of my athletes or one of my student athletes is like losing a child. Like you hear, you know, your child just got killed. Like that's, you know, because as a coach, you damn near a father figure to, you, you know, to these kids. They look at you, you you're in there in your possession for two or three hours, however long practice is. In a statement, young audiences charter school said, Tyler was a beloved student with a vibrant spirit and a passion for the arts. The outpouring of love and compassion from our community is a testament to the impact Tyler had on all of us. He was and will always be a huge part of the Axe community and will be greatly missed. Coach Skipper says Tyler received several scholarship offers to play college football. JPSO says the investigation is ongoing and they're urging anyone with any information to contact them or Crime Stoppers. All right, thank you, Ellen.